we've met with the people, we've We've given them information about the work that we do. We've given them information about how they can access our services. And we've also given them information about what they can do also to help their lawyers provide a better service uh, for them. Later, we'll be talking with the advocates in Mombasa also about some of the things we've heard here, but also some of the things that have happened in our, in our work. Every year we receive about 750 complaints against advocates. The main complaints that we have are uh, advocates who have not done the work that they were hired to do. So they do not, they do maybe part of it, but they don't finish it. So that's one. The other one is withholding funds. They have received funds on behalf of their clients, but they have not given the money over to their clients. And then the other one is communication, poor communication. They are not informing their clients about the status of their case, they're not informing their clients about developments that have happened in their case. Those are the most common, sometimes we have complaints of conflict of interest, where you know an advocate is seen as siding with the other side instead of being loyal to his client. Those are really the main, the three main complaints that we, we receive on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, we don't punish advocates, but what we do is, if we find that the complaint has merit, we prepare a charge and we go to the disciplinary tribunal. Now, the disciplinary tribunal, it hears the case, it hears everybody, both the complainant and the advocate. If it finds that the advocate is guilty, he can be fined. A fine of up to a million shillings. He can be admonished, which is a public rebuke. He can be suspended for up to five years or he can be struck off the role of advocate so that he can't practice at all. The disciplinary tribunal has membership of the attorney general, the solicitor general and six members from the Law Society of Kenya. They are the ones who sit and you know we appear before them every week. So we work with them, we work with the police because sometimes uh, we find that either advocates or other people have committed criminal offences. So we've got to tell the police, we've got to notify the Director of Public Prosecutions and those are the people who now take further, uh, further action against, against them.